Hello, sir. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I am an old guy gaming, and we are uh, continuing to eke our way through uh, winter here. We are subsisting uh, through winter here. <laughs> so um, it's uh, probably been, an, I don't know, two, maybe couple in-game days since uh, the last episode. And um, so what I've been doing with my time is basically going out... Um, and hanging around, uh, this area here, this Northern area, uh, just cutting wood, you know, looting crates, killing wolves, that sort of thing. I haven't really gone much further than that just because, you know, when I get out and start doing stuff, then usually a blizzard comes in and then I have to get back home. I did manage to make three heat packs. Um, so I have those now, uh, we haven't hit a locked crate in a while and, um, we, you know, we're kind of. We're kind of, you know, getting low on some things, ammo in particular. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go out today and uh, maybe go a little bit further afield. Uh, hopefully the weather will cooperate and, uh, you know, see if we can get a, a lock trade. I do have a one lock pick there and um, do that. Now, my chicken has made it to level three, but we can't go beyond that until we upgrade the station. And as you can see, it has given us one egg. But we need two eggs before we can actually make steak and eggs. We have plenty of steak in the fridge, uh, but we need a second egg. Uh, so I've been making liver and onions and, you know, eating the uh, just the, the straight up veggies and stuff like that as far as food goes. Uh, so we're doing okay. Uh, definitely not in, uh, in dire straits uh, with food and, and whatnot. And um, let's see, that's pretty much really it. Uh, we I have been attacked by Bravo. Um, they attacked me when I was um, up over in this area up here. I decided to let them just do their thing and then go away without retaliating uh, so that they don't do a revenge attack on us. So after that happened, things have been actually pretty quiet um, for a while. And of course, that's, you know, that's not going to stay that way. But um, they, they haven't bothered us a whole lot at this point, which is good because we are low on ammo. Uh, we're waiting for this, these cotton. I have a couple cottons and some tomatoes in there growing. And then we have onions and potatoes in here. And, you know, everything grows really slow, of course, in the wintertime because a uh, lack of light, that sort of thing. Um, we could we could make grow um, add grow lights to these. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'd, we're probably not going to do that quite yet. Um, I have been, like I said, cutting a lot of wood, and so we have 91 planks made. We have 83 nails. We're sort of kind of low on nails. Uh, we got a decent amount of wood here, um, but we're going to... Uh, I'd like to get a few more nails before we start our next uh, building episode, and the plan for that is going to be to continue our little dock out there and maybe even, you know, put some walls up or something because the hunters tend to, to come to this part of the base when they attack us, even... You know, even when they're running across the frozen lake, they just kind of come into to this area, to the south, I guess, southwest side of our building. Uh, so we're going to focus on fortifying, you know, that part of the building first. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Um, how are we doing on food and water? Let's go ahead and top off uh, our water here. And then we'll put that back in the stove to cook up. And I'm just trying to see if we have any... I don't see any crates on our island. Uh, another thing I noticed, too, is that I either messed up and started Season 2 with 60 days, or somehow or another it got changed back to 60 days when I intended for it to be 90 days. I thought winter, you know, we got through the summer and fall really fast and winter came really fast and I so I'm thinking maybe I I either didn't set it correctly or whatnot so I have now set that to to 90 days and as you can see we are in January too we're probably into the second or third day of January at this point in time so I don't know how that got changed uh, but like I said, it did seem like <laughs> winter came a, a, a lot faster than I was expecting it to. And it just hadn't occurred to me to look at that until I just happened to notice it. So let's eat one more blueberry. 
Uh, so that kind of sucks, you know, that, that we got into winter. Because if we would have had those extra days, we could have possibly been a little bit more prepared. But, you know, overall, we're doing okay. Uh, we're doing okay. We can generally be out and about as long as it's not a blizzard. Um, and again, like I said, I haven't gone so far away from the base that if a blizzard does come, we can't get back before it's too late. And, of course, we have the three heat packs, which so far I haven't actually had to use. All right, so let's uh, head up. We're going to move our uh, or work our way up to the arch and see if we can find ourselves a locked crate and then, you know, just do some of the usual looting along the way. We really, you know, we really need ammo. We're, we're very low on ammo at this point in time. So um, the only ammo I have is four arrows. And, uh, you know what? I should have made some more arrows, darn it. Um, and 18 nines, and then everything else is what we have in the gun. So, yeah, pretty pretty low. Um, we're doing really good on food and all that, so I think I don't think we're going to do a lot of hunting uh, let's see if we can get uh, to a locked crate and just hit as many crates as we can for this little this little session we're gonna do. Uh, oh, there's a moose, and I have uh, killed I killed another moose. Uh, so here is the uh, footage from that. Okay, I think that was a level two moose. I'm gonna let that guy go though, because here again, I just don't have the uh, the ammo to spare. I wanna kinda save that for hunter encounters as much as possible until we can, you know, start building that back up. And of course, the best way to do that is from locked crates. Uh, for a period of time, I, you know, I had extra gunpowder and casings to, to kind of top things off, but that's, we pretty much run out of that stuff too. And uh, we've also been low on iron, so yeah, welcome to winter. <laughs> uh, winter's kind of a pain in the neck, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a pain in the neck. But we're, we're, we're subsisting, we're getting by here. So let's get both of these rabbits. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that one wasn't going to fly. I hear I hear a wolf somewhere. Uh, right there. That is a high-level white wolf. I think we're going to ignore him. What's this? This is a level 2 normal wolf. Um, <clears throat> we could probably kill the level 2 with our pistol, but again, let's try and avoid hunting for now. Um, and except for small game, we will hit small game. Until we can get to that lock crate and see if we can get some of our ammunition. Uh, that he's too close to Charlie. Okay. Let's, uh, let's not get any closer to that direction. I don't want to mess with Charlie right now. So yeah, overall we're not doing bad. Uh, we're not doing great, but we're not doing bad either. So we just have to kind of. You know, get by as best as we can until until the lake thaws. You know, have the with the hunters being able to run straight across the ice. You know, they've posed a, a bigger threat. They're harder for me to kill. Um, I don't know what it is about this game, but it is just plain hard to kill anything, animal, hunter, whatever, when they're moving. You know, even when you're leading your shot and stuff. I don't know. It just seems like it doesn't work very well um you know so you kind of have to wait till they're holding still before you take your shot to have a better chance of hitting them you know and i would chalk that up to potato aim on my part but the thing is is it happens too frequently for it to just be potato aim i think it's i think it's just this game too so good we got 17 nails already that's fantastic and I'm not saying I don't have potato aim. I do, but 
<laughs> I still think that this game is just, it's really diff. Oh, look at that. We got a tomato seed. Uh, difficult to hit stuff on the move. Um, is this, what level is this? Well, level three. Yeah, let's leave him alone. I could take him out with my shotgun shell, but I'd rather, like I said, conserve ammo until we can start building it back up just a little bit. I wish that I would have made a few more arrows before we left, but I just didn't think about it. I thought I saw an ore node somewhere here on the on the arch. Or maybe I did and it despawned. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we actually have sun out, so that's good. That is good. Let's go ahead and harvest the grub tree. And then we'll keep working uh, over towards the central valley since I'm not seeing any locked crates here by the arch. Though this is definitely a good place to come for lock crates. I've found many lock crates here in the past. Uh, but looks like today is not the day. So the next closest place for us to go for that is going to be the Central Valley. Okay, where is that at? I don't know. Let's, let's go this way. I'm not seeing it wherever it happens to be. Uh, we definitely need some iron, too, so let's uh, grab that when we see it. We're doing pretty good on all the other ores, but the iron is where we're a little bit short, which is not unusual. That's kind of the way it goes. We haven't seen a whole lot of crates, but then again, crates are rarer in the winter, you know, so... That's not, that also is not unusual. It just sucks. <laughs> We're, we are getting um, a nice little supply of rosehip berries. Um, so, you know, we're going to be making jam with that stuff later on. There's a chicken. Uh, chicken just saw us. How many arrows do I have now? Two? Yeah. Let's, let's not even bother with small game at this point. I'm glad to be getting these nails. Okay, now we have some crates. Look at all the crates around here. Beautiful. We hit the little the little crate uh, spawn area. Supposedly, the crates in this game, um, when they, they spawn, they kind of spawn in a trail, if you will, and you can kind of follow the trail and get a bunch of them. I don't know if that is 100% accurate, but... A lot of people seem to think that that's the way it works. Uh, when I say a lot of people, I'm talking about other YouTubers that I've watched uh, play this game. <clears throat> but again, like I said, I don't know if that's actu uh, actuality or speculation. But Okay, that's a level 2 wolf. Let's uh, ignore or, or avoid him. We could actually... How many feathers do I have? I have one feather. Uh, all right, let's at least make a couple more arrows. Maybe we should kill a couple more chickens just so we can get more feathers. All right, there's a bunny. Okay, looks like he went right up that trail there. Got him. And I think there's an ore node up here too. Uh, did I see an ore node up here? Yeah. Right here. Some potassium. Let's grab that. Um, Actually, let's... Hold on a sec. Get out of there. Let's let's uh, wear down this pick a little bit more first. I'm going to try and keep it from completely breaking, though, so we can put it in the mass recycler. There's a white wolf over there. Definitely avoid that dude. This is a, actually a pretty nice day. It's the... Nicest day I think I've had 
in, you know, two, three, four days in the game because we've been having lots of blizzards and stuff. So definitely a good day to go out looting. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Looks like, is there a node up there? I think so, yeah. There's a couple. That's iron. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's just a piece of rock sticking out. There's a deer and another bunny. Let's get the bunny. What is that? I think that's a blood splatter from the rabbit. It tends to to shoot really far away. It's kind of funny. Can we get up here? Okay, let's go back this way. It's about... It's maybe I'm guessing about one o'clock in the afternoon at this point. Yeah, we could just about almost get up there. What about going this way? There's a node. This should be iron. Yes, it is. Good. It is indeed. Okay. Can we get down here without falling and breaking our leg? Oh! Okay. Let's go over this way. I'm going to take a look at the map and see where we are. Yeah, okay. We're more or less going the right way. Um, looks like we have a pig up here and another rabbit. I'm getting lots of rabbits today. That's great. We need that cloth. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's eat this and that. And we're, we're doing pretty good on hydration, so I think we're okay there. We'll kill both of these guys. And the other two bunnies are still alive, so we'll let them continue kicking for now. We are going to avoid the hog because he doesn't really give as much stuff as, as he should for how dangerous he can be. In my opinion, anyways. We'll go down this little bit of a road here and we have yet another rabbit beautiful okay so now we're kind of getting into locked crate territory so let's really keep our eyes peeled Yeah, this has definitely turned out to be a really nice day. Another rabbit. Do we have any arrows left? I don't think so. Um, and without more feathers, we can't make any more. Okay, so we're done using the bow for now. This is the central pond. Just kind of doing a little bit of a sweep back and forth. Ah, it sucks that we can't get those other rabbits. But other than that, you know, one little cluster of, of crates, it's not a, it's a great day for looting, but there's not a whole lot of loot to be had. <laughs> kind of a bummer. There's a chicken. I suppose we could try and catch a chicken.
All right, hopefully it doesn't run us into something nasty. All right, we're having a base attack, but obviously we can't do anything about it, so the base should be fully repaired. Problem with the base attacks, though, obviously, is that when they do occur, it can take a, a pretty healthy chunk of resources to, to fix everything again. Resources which I prefer, you know, can go to building. But that's the way it works. There's a white wolf. Let's avoid. Those guys can really be a pain in the neck because I've run into them more than once. They're hard to see. Okay, let's grab this copper. And since we're up on the the rock here, let's just look around and see if there's anything else up here. Or wise. Right, nothing's really jumping out at me. that wolf go? I think he's right over there somewhere. Here we go. We've done pretty good so far on ore today. Anyway. Okay, let's go back into the forest area and do another sweep for a locked crate. Here's an ammo crate. All right, got a little gunpowder and casings out of that. Would have preferred some actual ammo, but got to take what you can get. Uh-oh. Two attacks on the base. We're definitely going to have some repairing to do when we get back now. I am not spotting any lock crates in this area. Let's go back this way a little bit. We'll we'll probably swing back by the arch again because you know one could have spawned in since we were there last, of course. Got one thing of hide. Okay, that's a level two wolf and a bunny. Go around this way. This one might be a little tough to get to. Let's keep this ready to go. No, go the other way, dude. Oh, I see Hunter over there. Uh, obviously rogues, because we know they're not normal hunters. Hopefully that didn't get anybody's attention. Okay. Okay, let's grab this crate and start working our way back because it is getting on in the day. Uh, we've done good on nails, man. 52 nails. Can't complain about that. No siree, Bob. Um, the hunters I saw were just kind of up in that area, so let's avoid that. Or uh, When I say hunters, I mean rogues. Ooh. Is this a lock crate? It is. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. This is what we were looking for. Please give me some ammo. All right. We got some ammo. Good. Good, good, good. We'll take all of that. Um, this is a tea. Oh, crap. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, eat this. And then um, butcher all the rabbits. That'll free us up some space. Plus, they're all dead anyway. And that gives us four slots. Okay, let's get... Uh, is there anything else I can eat? This. 
There we go. Okay, let's go. Awesome, we found our locked crate. That's what we were really came to do. Okay. Let's load this back up. Oh, uh, where is our base, by the way? That's right. Straight that way. Okay. We'll basically move in that direction, except for we do have to skirt around Charlie. Did we get any arrows out of the deal? Uh, no, but we got some rifle rounds, which we needed. And we got some magnum rounds, which we needed. Fantastic. All right. We are a little bit thirsty here, but I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Um, just because, well, for obvious reasons, we don't want to get infected. All right, let's head on back. Need, we needed that ammunition, man. We really did, so I'm uh, happy that we found it. That's just a pig. And we've got a crate here. Up to 60 nails. 60 nails is pretty good for a day of looting. That's not bad at all. Oh, yeah, you stay away from us. Oh, I hear a wolf. Okay, let's take a look at the map and see where we are. Okay. Um... It kind of sucks that we're going to be out at dark, but... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, three attacks in one day. We're <laughs> Our base is going to be in rough shape when we get back. Hopefully we won't lose any components. That would be sad. The good news about all three of those attacks, however, is we didn't retaliate on any of them, which means they won't be seeking revenge against us, and we should hopefully have a little bit of a, of a reprieve from additional attacks. The bad news is it's going to cost me oh, a lot of nails and wood to repair the damage that they did. But what can you do, right? That's just part of subsisting. We do have heat packs, um, so I don't have any blueberries for that. Uh, so, you know, we're not worried about getting too cold. And, in fact, we're still holding up okay as far as that goes, but that might change here in a little bit. So let's just run along the fence. Oh, we still have a hunter by the base. Is he stuck? What's he doing? I bet you he's stuck. Okay, let me... Hello, sir. Let's survey the damage. Well, so much for no revenge attacks. <laughs> but hey, I mean, if he's just going to be sit standing there like a dork, then... Uh... All right, so we lost a wall and a door and a porch and the stairs. Yeah, they really did a number on things. Um, let's grab our... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's get this stuff in here. Oh, shoot. I just dropped my... Let 
my canteen. Um, here, let's get that in there. We'll throw this in the fridge for the moment. Nice, we got another tomato seed. Actually, I think I'm keeping seeds down here, except for these seeds we're throwing into this. Okay. Oh, let's also put that guy in there. And then we'll do a couple more things here. That all goes in there. Um, this can go in here. So yeah, nice. We got a little more iron going on now, finally. So we're up to 145 nails in total. But that's going to drop way down after we end up doing all these repairs again. Okay, so let's eat all of those right now and get the other two cooking. Oh, here's our canteen right there. Okay, good. We'll drink that water and I need to put this down here so we can all see what's going on here. All right, so yeah, they <laughs> they really did a number on things, didn't they? Let's grab the hammer. And first thing we want to do is make sure none of this stuff is severely damaged. It looks like it's all in reasonably good shape, all things considered. So let's grab our wood. So we currently have 145 nails. Uh, we'll have to see where this leaves us after we're done doing the repairs. Okay, so let's start with the equipment. Yeah, our stove definitely took a beating, didn't it? I'm gonna eat one of these and put the other one in here. Let's get some water going. Okay, we need to make a wall. Oh, boards. Wall, wall, wall. Here we go. And then we're going to need to make a ceiling to, re uh, to fix our little deck here. And while that's going on, let's start repairing this. Okay, good. That needs a few taps. How about the... Oh, the roof is actually pretty good. Uh, none of that's in too bad a shape. That needs a tap. That needs a tap. What about this foundation here? One tap is good. Looks like everything over on this side is all uh, in good enough shape. Don't got to worry about it. Uh, that could use a tap, I think. Okay. Got a fresh wall there. And... We got that back, and then we need a stairs. And I'm not, I'm not actually going to put a stairwell up here until winter's over and we can move the crops back out. There's no point in having it there right now because we don't need to get up on the roof. It's just a couple less things to get damaged. Okay, let's flip this around and pop it back in place. And then we'll just check this. That needed a couple wax. That's good. That needs some attention. And these are probably, oh, nope. That one needs a, a hit, and that one needs a couple hits. All right, I think we're good. I think we're back to normal. Do we have two eggs in here yet? Come on, chicken. Chicken house, or the, the animal pen, rather, is in good shape. 
Okay, so how many nails... Oh, you know what? We gotta make a door, too, don't we? Okay, so how many nails do we end up with? Now we have 70 out of 145. Yeah, that was expensive. Oh, my goodness. That was really expensive. <laughs> okay, well, it's it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes, man. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think we are uh, at a good stopping point for this episode. I'll put that back in place. And um, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and make ourselves a new lockpick. And as long as the weather stays nice like this, we, we should really just go right on back out and keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest the trees on the island, uh, make sure the chicken and the crop plots and all that have uh, food and water. Um, I'm not expecting another attack for a while, except for the one hunter that we did end up killing. They're, they'll probably do a revenge attack. I have no idea who it was. Uh, but even if we just get hit by one of them while we're away, you know, that's not going to be that big of a deal. And um, then go out and go up for another loot run once we have another lockpick. So... I will, the plan at this point is I'll bring you back when the we're ready to do that, and we'll go out and do the thing that you do in this game. Look for lock crates. <laughs> uh, oh, and I'll have arrows with me this time, too. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, and oh, my goodness, we let our fire run out. How, it, how could I do that? How could I do that? Um, I don't think we need to take the matches with us now. Uh, because we got the heat packs if we get in into trouble. Yeah, so um, that'll free up a slot in our inventory. So, yeah, uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.